a format with activities shown as bars, covering the days and weeks in which each activity is scheduled. The resource sheet is used to analyse, add or edit data regarding resources. It can display several types of information for each resource, such as basic data, costs, work and use, among others. The resource graph presents a graphical analysis of resources, which do not include materials in this case, evaluating if they are over allocated, at which level of capacity they are working and how much they are costing. The information regarding resources displayed here is based on the category selected. The task usage presents information regarding the distribution of tasks and their resources. It allows visualising the period in which resources are involved in an activity. Resource usage is the opposite of the display mode, task usage, and presents information on each resource and in which tasks it is allocated. Together with the display modes, Microsoft Project 2002 features a set of tables that provide information on the project in lines and columns. Each line displays information regarding one task or resource and each column displays a different type of information regarding the task or resource. Each table controls a group of columns. In this DVD, you will find auxiliary files that can help you to accelerate your training. To access these files, copy the folder Training into your computer in a location you consider most convenient. Execute the Microsoft project. Close the window, New Project. The Project Guide is a tutorial that guides the user through the management processes of projects. It also works as a reference so you do not forget any of the stages when assembling a project. In this training, we will not make use of this tool. However, it would be convenient for you to explore it so you get further acquainted with the functional features of Microsoft Project 2002. To close this guide, click on the button Close of the task window and then click on View, Toolbars, Project Guide. The first step in creating a project is to define its starting date. Click on Project, Project Information. Inform the starting date of the project in the field Start Date. Most of the projects, such as this training, are scheduled from their starting date. However, Microsoft Project also allows you to schedule from the date of conclusion backwards. To conclude, click on OK. Click on File, Properties, and fill in the blanks of this window with the resume data of this project. Here's a tip. Inserting the objective of your project in the commentary field, you can exhibit it in all the project reports. The next step will be defining the working period. Click on Tools, Change Working Time. The project presents three basic calendars and also allows you to change them or create new calendars with the specifications you deem most appropriate to meet the project's requirements. To change a calendar, click on the date to be changed and choose non-working time in the case of a holiday for instance or non-default working time 
using the blanks below to determine new work hours. To create a new base calendar, press the button New and choose a name, then click on OK. In our example, we will use the standard calendar. The definition of the calendar for a project is done in the window Project Information. <laughs>